today. We were just going to come to you and talk about what we remember um, about 9-11. As you know, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary and uh, what that day meant to us and uh, what we were doing that day and, and stuff. We got a little puppy here. He's, he, he might interrupt a little bit, but um, goodness, it was a Tuesday. Right? Yeah. And, um, get off camera. let's see. For some reason, um, well, we, we I took a day off that day. Vacation yeah. day. Chris had taken a day off of vacation that day. We had some friends that had come down from Arkansas. We live here in Texas. And, uh, we were visiting with them and everything. And then the, the next day, we had decided that we were going to take our kids to the zoo. Our son Christopher was three we didn't have Caleb yet and um, so and they had uh, some very small children too so we go let's, let's take you to the Fort Worth Zoo Fort, in, in, in Fort Worth Texas wonderful zoo and so that morning of course Chris was off we slept in just a little bit I guess yeah and then I guess first we heard about it was was it when mom called your us? Your mom called us. Yeah, your mom called us and told us, hey, have y'all heard the news? Like, That's before I t uh, iPhones. iPhones and we, and we don't have a TV. So she said the uh, a plane has flew into the World Trade Center. Okay, you know, that didn't mean a lot to us. We turned on the radio, and as we were listening... Um, the, the the man here, we, our our local station WBAP eight twenty AM, was the um, talking about it, and the second plane hit. And then I got a little bit, a little bit scared, but not not really, really much. <clears throat> and I guess you may think the first one you would, could have been an accident. You thought first, maybe. Yeah. I remember I called my mom and I said, because his mom kind of scared us or, or, you know, just was thinking that this was something that we should be concerned about. And uh, so I called my mom and she was cleaning the house. I said, Mom, where are you? She said, I'm cleaning the house. I said, well, turn on their TV and see what's going on. She did. And then we hung up, really. We decided, uh, well, you called uh, Tracy and they were at the hotel and they were watching it. And I said, well, let's just go ahead and go on to the zoo. <laughs> so we pack up our picnic, whatever, and Christopher and decide to go on to the zoo. And on the way is when the plane hit the Pentagon. And that's when I got scared. <laughs> Having a three-year-old little boy scared me. So we went and got to what we did. Uh, I don't remember this, but he, she claims that we went and got all all of our money out of the bank. <laughs> it it, filled up it our wasn't car. a lot, but uh, no. And we filled up the car with gas. I don't even know why we thought. Why would we do that? But I don't know. Yeah. Well, was, I know why we did because uh, President Bush had ground was grounding all the planes. Maybe we thought more there was going to be more people driving. I don't know. Yeah. But we did, and um, we went on to the zoo, and I remember it was dead. There was no body there, hardly. We, I mean, we were just like a handful of people. And when we ate lunch, we went into a little place there, a little restaurant in there, and we um, ate lunch in there, and I remember seeing, seeing it on the TV there in there, and. I think we didn't stay very much longer after lunch, and we headed to your grandparents' house. That's what I remember, <clears throat> watching it at their house on their TV. Mm -hmm. Just every channel, bunch of, just replay after replay. Yeah. Well, then the one went down in the field, too. Yeah. I don't remember where we was at that time, though. Was that the <clears throat> last one? I think so. And uh, I just remember being very, very concerned with the little boy. Hey, he's my responsibility. 
And um, I was so glad that Chris was home that day instead of working because I probably would have freaked out. <laughs> but uh, I remember a friend called not in, in those three days that President Bush had grounded all the planes and she's like, isn't it eerie? And we don't have a lot of planes going over us, but where they live, they do. Airport. And she she just really felt like it was strange not to hear that all the time. But uh, that's where we was. And I remember the patriotism. Everybody's willing to help everybody then and everybody's yeah. willing to be ready to go to church. Well, I just remember the signs. Anybody that had any kind of marquee sign, it said, God God bless the USA or God bless America. I just remember seeing that everywhere. And people had flags on their cars and uh, little clips. My dad had a motorcycle. My dad was still alive at that time. And he had two flags on the back of his motorcycle. And everybody had flags on their vehicles. Or they wrote on, you know, shoe polish their windows, you know, God bless, you know, just very, very united as a country. And then when he, President Bush got up in the rubble and said what he said. Told him We've heard from you, but you will soon hear from us. Yeah. And we went to the Bush Library and we got to see that, that bullhorn that he used. And uh, that day they had it there in the, in the library. But it's, it seems like a world ago. Long time. But at the same time, it really wasn't that long ago, just 20 years, just, just like that. I think our, our country was innocent then. And a lot of changes since then. A lot of security, a lot of... We go to the airport now, you used to go in there and see your folks off and everything else. Now you can't even hardly get past the gate without a ticket, or you can't even get into the mm -hmm. main airport. <clears throat> It changed, it changed us as a nation, but that's, that's a world ago, but that's what I remember about 9-11, that was our day, and, uh, and what led up to it, and after, in the aftermath of it, but, um, was it 12 years later? Not for many years later, we got Bin Laden. It, it wasn't long. And uh, I remember hearing on the news that the people in New York City were dancing in the streets that they caught him. And uh, I got to go to New York and went to the, down to the 9-11 Memorial and it, it's very sobering. But we rebuilt. So, you have anything else to say that you remember? Not really. Let's hope it don't happen again. Yeah, do you feel more safe 20 years later? Well, I haven't done nothing since then. I mean, something's working. Yeah. That's our memory. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless us, keep us, protect us, and God bless America.